Good evening and welcome to the April 4th, 2023 APA committee meeting. Um, I'm ready to begin. We have our guest, guest star guest tonight, John Shea from the school department. He's going to speak to us about a few items. And rec committee. Excuse me? And rec committee. And rec committee, exactly. <laughs> Um, you're also going to talk about the uh, budget software. Please okay. don't forget. Don't let me forget it again. Well, following Mr. Shea's important input. And I'll just let you start where you want. Sure. Uh, we'll go through the, the uh, list that Melanie sent. Uh, Central and Mitchell school entrance enhancements, security enhancements. So if you look at the first page I gave you, um, our original APA request was three hundred thousand um, dollars. Brian Kiley was able to get um, do some work on quotes um, for the Mitchell main entrance doors and frames. We received a, a quote of seventy four thousand three hundred forty six dollars. That quote is included in the package for the Mitchell School, the gym entrance, the doors and the frames of the doors. We have a quote of 67650 The Mitchell door access uh, control system upgrades, I have a quote of 22933 That is also included in the package. The Mitchell, and I always pronounce this wrong, Bol Bollards, Bol Bollards? Bollards. Bollards. That's, those are the uh, metal poles. For the gym entrance, I re reviewed this with Brian Kiley today. He estimated there were about 1,000. Um, that's a conservative estimate of 1,000 per, and we're looking at approximately 15 at the uh, gym entrance. Uh, in addition, uh, the, the quotes that we, we received for the uh, doors does not include electrical work. Uh, Brian had mentioned that about $5,000 would be a good estimate for that. We don't have an official uh, estimate for the uh, central, the main entrance door, but based upon the quotes uh, we received for the uh, Mitchell School, um, we've estimated approximately 48,000 for that door, with electrical work on that door also at approximately $5,000. So we're looking at uh, my original r request from Opera at 300,000. And we have uh, you know, quotes for most of it and estimates for the remainder of 230,929. 237? 237. What did I say? 237,929. So we shaved $61,000. Good job. Yeah. Do the doors at Central and Mitchell, I know the high school is all on the fob. They yes. all have the fobs. The central and Mitchell. Yes. Also, right? yep. uh, every and all the doors too. I keep meaning to. Uh, in all the doors the except at there. Mitchell. So at Central, it's the front main entrance yeah. and the back entrance. Okay, <coughs> and like the cafe because it's the cafeteria. Door. Cafeteria does not. Okay. At Mitchell, uh, I believe the only entrance that doesn't have a fob reader is the loading dock. Would it make sense to try to look at what it would be to put a fob at the cafeteria door? I know there's a lot of ins and outs there between probably lunch, recess. Um. Oh, at that door there. Um, it does. It's just I, everyone's been thinking after all this stuff right. that's been going on right. in the world. So I think we're, we're weighing how much work to how much do. you know. Who knows what's going to happen to the central right. school? No, and I so we're weighing, but we also try to. We know that anything that happens at central central school is probably three to five years away. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if we could still fit it in, we should still fit it in. The other question I have is: uh, Have the external cameras requested from the capital committee? Yes. That, was well, that 47 would kind of fit back into under the 300,000 we were thinking. It could, yeah. I, I, I put that as a note because I know I know the town is, uh, there's a budget deficit. I don't know if, if that would help the town by moving that from the finance committee into this. 
I think one of the purpose of OPER is to relieve the town of some of these things. Not, yeah, non-operating yeah. costs, and right. that mm -hmm. fits in as a non-operating cost. I think yeah. it's worth bringing up to the capital committee if ARPA supports it. But, well, what I'm saying is just include this in his right. request. Right. Include in the request, yeah. Right. And then the capital committee knows that that's off their list. Does that make sense to you? <coughs> Yeah. It does. I was just looking to see where they categorized that on what they voted. Uh, it was approved. I have it marked as approved. Oh yeah, forty-seven nine ninety-two. Yeah. yeah. So that would yeah that would be great because they were taking that from um, <coughs> probably free cash. Probably free and cash. John, I know you had said that you filed for a grant for the key fobs for. I filed the grant for the uh, Mitchell uh, access. Uh, control upgrades for that 22 so oh, I, sh okay. I, I don't I have not heard from the grant yet I, I called and they said they have so many uh, re requests that yeah. it's going to take them another month to go through all the re requests but okay obviously if that that grant comes in it comes on this yeah awesome I will I will hear about that grant first uh, they said probably with them All right, so just to summarize, keep it straight in my mind. So where we are now is the $48,000 from the capital is now back in. So we add that back onto the 237 okay. and we're around a little over 284. Yeah, 280 something. So I'm math <laughs> We don't need the exact right number right now. Yeah. We're not going to vote on it tonight, so just so you know. We don't have enough people. But what we're trying to do is get the information so we can vote next week and won't have to bother you about it. 285921. Any other questions, Dan? Uh, school entrance enhancements? No. I think this one was pretty strongly supported from the start by the committee, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it would be yeah. great to free up 48000 Yeah, that's a be, yeah. free cash. Win wins. All right. All right. If we go to page five. This is the Church Street Complex project. These are the basketball courts and the pickleball courts. In the first column, you see uh, I presented uh, to APA a request for 241694 And below was the um, backup for that request. 95,000 for the uh, two basketball courts, 61,855 for the repurposing of the multi use sports service, which was the old hockey rink. And then you have the security system, lighting, fencing, contingency. That's where we came up with the 241,000 total, but we requ requested from APA 146,694 because we have a capital article for 40,000 and also a state earmark for 55,000. So out of that 241, you back out the capital article and the state earmark, the remainder that amount was 146,694. That's what we re requested for APA, from APA. Now, if you look at the next column, there's a revision. Um, the two basketball courts, including the hoops, um, we have updated quotes for that for 88,256. The repurposing of the, of the old hockey rink surface, we have an updated quote of 37,563. So that's a reduction of 
$31,036. Now, I added that $31,036 into a line I'm calling landscaping, chain link fencing, benches. You know, I, I think that area, um, if, if, we, if we do the basketball courts and, and the pickleball I, I think it'd be a great area to put some trees in some benches um, some some fencing along the, the tree line but again um, it's, it's up for discussion I think it would make that area really a, a nice uh, a nice area for the, the town well you have to have benches when you collapse from people's pickleball <laughs> <laughs> true So the is the one forty six still what you're requesting from Opera? Uh so that would Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. I think this is a great project for the rec committee to cut you know, yeah. something to I agree. Yeah. And the DPW said they'd help too, so I've included the quotes uh, attached. And when did you get yep. the quotes? Were they? Oh, they're recent. Okay, perfect. March, right. March 14th was one. This would be nice to really get moving on. The basketball hoops we already ordered. March 13th was the other one. Oh yeah, because yeah, you talked about you because you have that money already set. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, they would supposed to be received today. I'm good on this one. Um, I'm all right in it. I just watched the pickleball tournament with uh, Andre Agassi and John McEnroe the other day <laughs> on ESPN. It was awesome. I was like, pickleball now. What is this? It's un <laughs> unbelievable down in Florida. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's oh, very popular all now. over the place. I don't even yeah. know. And I looked at it and I go, I, I'm like, I think I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small court. You can you can get around a little bit. Yeah. That's a, so I saw that and I was like, oh, all right. Pickleball is cool. All right. LED. LED lighting. Um, so last week on Monday, I met with, it. we have a quote. Uh, but last, I know some of the questions that the, the committee had was, uh, what about any uh, rebates or anything like that? Um, is that in this packet or is it's not in this okay, packet oh. so oh, yeah. last so. Monday I met with uh, a company out of uh, Brockton I believe Northeast distributors last two he brought out a uh, kind of a consultant they work with um, regarding rebates and uh, you know drawings and, and kind of coordinating the whole thing so I should be getting uh, a quote back by next Tuesday they said it should take about two weeks they said it, it, they definitely definitely feel that it uh, that there's a discount or rebate that should be available for this. So the vendor is working in conjunction with the rebate consultant, and that will all be factored in. Yes. Go. Yep. Cool. Yep. Less work for you to do, right? Yeah. Awesome. And ju uh, just as a side note, I also had them look at the uh, pickleball and the church street courts. Yep. Um, I have an estimate for that. But they're also going to look at uh, giving me a quote for that. They think that rebates would be available for that too. And talking to, to uh, Little League, I was talking to the, the treasurer the other day. Their, he said their cost uh, per month for those lights or electricity down there was like nine hundred dollars a month. They're looking at part, they, which they can't af really afford. They're looking at possibly cutting some programs like fall ball. Because they go to the LED lighting. That, that right, that will help. Yep. Help the community. And what was the other pickleball? What was the other court? The basketball court? Yeah, the basketball courts. Uh, the poles, poles are already there. 
Um, uh, they walked through, they took pictures, they uh, looked at all the poles. They think they can reuse, reuse the poles. Um, so we'd just be talking about braces and fixtures. So I've, I've, I reached out to them today. I've got a push on them to, they said two weeks, so I'm gonna hold them to that, two weeks. Okay. So by next Tuesday, I should have something, if not sooner. Okay, sounds good. Church Street concession stand. I, I thought we reviewed this already, and I apologize if there were questions that you had, but I, I, I didn't. Ha I don't have anything further on on that. We had a a quote from from one company uh, just to get a, a, a ballpark of what it would cost. I mean, if you, if you look at that building down there, it's really in, in rough shape. The, the siding is is rotting. Um, the windows are rotting. It says this request this is, is the in roof, addition right? to a capital article, but there's no cap. There's no cap. Okay, that may, I wonder if that got that comment got moved from the the courts, maybe. Uh, did I do that? No, this is in. All right. No. So that uh, amount from the the quote was uh, 41,648 and that included five windows, siding, painting, exterior trim, uh, window grates on that um, building at the Little League complex. Did that include the roof too? The roof was a separate. That was separate, okay. Yep. One of the, is the roof replacement on that building, the one that we've already yes. recommended? Yep. That building, uh, the shed, and, the shed. and uh, Belmont Street soccer field. That's right. That was forty one nine sixty eight. That was forty one six forty nine. That was close. <laughs> what else we would have been looking for. Are you going to uh, submit a new request for the drainage? Yes. I'm waiting for John Haynes. He's reached out to the company. He hasn't yeah. heard back from him yet. So um, I'll, I'll let him. I'll let him know that we're, you know, we're at the we're at the end of this process, and hopefully yeah. we can get something. I, I soon. personally don't see a problem there. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody else, but. I mean, just thing is to just have it documented appropriately so right. when it goes from here to the board yep. to the Plymouth County or whoever whoever mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. yep. it, you know it, the documentation backs up what we're right. doing. Oh yeah definitely. Um, so I talked I reached out to John today he said he hasn't heard so uh, we're gonna try to get a push them to try to get them to come out. Okay. We have an old quote that's years old so basically throw it away and <laughs> add 40 percent yeah. um and then the other one was the pickup truck yeah the pickup truck so uh, on that just you know we talked about it there's some questions about you know the cost of that how, mu how much is it costing us today to do things with no truck versus how much is it gonna, is it going to save us any money uh -huh. or is it just something to be easier or I mean, I know you talked about the benefits of getting away, calming down the insurance company, and get, being able to do things quickly and easily. Um, but I think one of the concerns that came up 
did the last meeting and the meeting before was, um, you know, if people have been using their personal vehicles to use this, to do this stuff, mm -hmm. are they putting in for mileage reimbursement so we can look at the mileage reimbursement? They have say, not been. No? Okay. This is back to the schools. Right. right. So. I know for a fact they haven't been reported. No, I haven't seen any come through either. So I think what we have on the trucks is what we're going to have. Right. There's really nothing to add to. As you have we reached did a good job last time. Yeah, and I, I can't remember. I know we mentioned it, but is if anybody's reached out to see if there's any surplus? I reached out to the DPW. Okay. They said no. Okay. I know there's a truck. I know truck. they're replacing some. So right. I know there's a, a, an old truck that the animal control officer used to use. Um, I, I asked Charlie about that. He reached out to... Uh, Officer Jenkins and he uh, Officer Jenkins said they st they use it to tra uh, to pull trailers. Yeah. Oh, hey, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I wasn't talking bad about you. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you stopped when you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So the, there was a question about uh, electric. Right. Uh, so I gave you some information that I received uh, I in the package. This is from a representative at National Grid. What's Some of the uh, uh, cost costs for some uh, light duty pickups, and also for we would have to create a uh, charging station mm -hmm. at the school. And the box truck be multi-purpose. <laughs> Put food in with uh, the dirty <laughs> field stuff. But. What? Are you focused on an electric vehicle or? No, it was a question I believe that came up yeah. at the last meeting. I think you you asked me to get some information on it. So it was there's a charging station here, right? Right. Yeah. And it, there what's was some concern about the electric vehicles in the Kansas town. Right. Oh, that's sure. right. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I talked to John Haynes about that, he, and he he did say they do not have experience with electric vehicles. Yeah. Dave from Capital, one of the articles this year is a supervisor truck replacement. What's happening to the truck that that supervisor drives today? They're passing down. So there must be one that's being retired from the one being passed down, but I think they were all, if I'm remembering correctly, they were all very used. Pretty old, yeah. Okay. Used 2000s. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if, if, it, if the key turns and it starts, we'll take it. Can you check with John? Maybe when he's retiring, he could fulfill this. Do you have any idea how many miles they would go? Or I mean, not much. Can't be not much. Sure. No. I mean, look at the box truck we've had for. Right. I mean, I the know, majority. Sixteen of years, I think it has seventeen thousand miles on it. But it. It's it's so rotted out we can't use it anymore. Very good. Uh, all right. Um. I think that's all I had for you, or we had for you. Uh, so as soon as I get the uh, the uh, lighting, I'll, I'll pass that along, and uh, hopefully John Haynes can uh, help get something on the on the drainage. I know you guys yep. are nearing the end, right? Fingers crossed. <laughs> We're trying to get there as quickly as we can. Yep. If there's any room, you know, always looking for that golf simulator. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> I think they may have to try that in Northville for a couple of years before it gets passed on to the school so no one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a golf team, right? There is. So Some short chips that. last year. Yeah. Right. Were they really? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Impressive. What's their like home Ritters. course? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Good. That it. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you Sunday. See you in half an hour. Sunday. Is it not Easter? Not till noon. Are you expecting a basket? Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your. Uh, I hope finance committee goes as easy as this meeting went. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your flexibility, John. Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. My turn, so I don't forget while it's fresh on my mind. Oh, that's. I'm glad you remembered because I would have forgotten. <laughs> oh my God, Ryan would kill me if I forgot two times in a row. Budget software. <laughs> this is now accounting or. So was this was, we put in for an, the accounting software upgrade. Um, what we've found since I presented that, and you guys, you know, everyone seemed to support the idea. What I found is that we really didn't like the software we were hoping to like. We didn't like it a lot. Um, I've reached out to other companies. I haven't, they haven't got back to me with numbers. I've been trying to talk to people and like, Charlie will say that no one likes what they have and it's all expensive. So at this point where, you know, we were really hoping that one was going to work out, um, it doesn't look like we'll be doing this anytime in the near future. It will always be on our radar, but it doesn't look like it's going to be something that, you know, in the next year even that we're going to find something that works for us. So I was talking with Ryan who has um, an article on um, the warrant for, I don't even, that's permitting the, software. Yeah, the permitting software. I'm like drawing a blank. I was reading the warrant so many times today. Um, so, building, Board of Health, the clerk's office, DPW, they all use, are, are supposed to be using the software, um, the People's GIS software. It's up and running in some departments, and other departments have disliked it so much that they haven't even fully implemented it in their department, and it's also expensive. So what he's looking to do is to go to a different software that they've all viewed, they all like. And he had an article on the town meeting warrant to implement that permitting software um, to kind of free up, like John said, what he had the article on capital to try to kind of free up, it's about $60,000 of capital money. We were hoping to repurpose the budget software to the permitting software. Um, it's something that they're moving forward with. Regardless, it's gonna go to town meeting. We're just hoping to change the funding to use it, use the ARPA funds for it. And how much is it? 60,000. And I think mine was submitted for 54. Um, it going forward, the software that they're implementing is significantly less costly than the current software that they have, the People's GIS, um, and everyone likes the software that they're moving to. They've had real issues with the People's What's GIS. The cost difference I forget. Um, I want to say it was at least ten thousand dollars. Yeah. And <clears throat> if they're going to move forward with it anyways and you're not moving forward with your software it makes sense to move transfer to this funding. especially yeah. as it's going to cover multiple departments it does it covers a lot of departments i was surprised i didn't realize how many departments really use that that one software well and can module, want to use you them. know you might not know this this might be more of a ryan question but if needs come up in other departments can they be added in like I let's would, say I would think so but I don't know that answer okay. so on this probably be the same thing we asked John to do on the drainage just come back with some just read through the application so sure yeah. yeah I'm sure he has all the numbers and everything already But I guess if anyone has any major concerns, it would be better if you could, you know, say what you want to say now so we know mm -hmm. if we should move forward with removing the article from town meeting. But if it makes sense to everyone, then I'll resubmit. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense to me. Uh, me too. Yeah. You didn't say an article at town meeting. What is, what are the capital risk? It wasn't. No, he submitted an article. Um, and I don't know if it's because it, 
was for the implementation costs. I'm not sure, but it was an article submitted. So we may have freed up $100,000 free cash today. We might have. <laughs> I'm looking forward to those. I need to, I guess, watch what pickleball is all about. All right. Um, Melanie, Kay, Kay's trucking. I, think um, I have to do some I, follow up with them. I need to send the email to follow up. Gigi got back to me and with a couple things to request, so I'll send that tomorrow. Okay. Show me the signs. Um, you know, I told the board, you know, I passed that along to the board. I don't really have a reaction from them. Um, what it meant also was that I realized the board didn't have really any information. Also, maybe the list. Um, so I've given copies of all the applications at this point. Um, there's not been anything definitive from them. Um, I'll send myself an email to uh, get. I'll put the sign discussion on the agenda for Monday. Okay. And they did vote today to approve the 600000 correct, for the... Yes. Um, for so I can start that application process to Plymouth County, correct? Yeah, no other, yeah there's nothing else. Yeah. That's one. very good news. Okay, um, anybody think of anything else you want to talk about? All right, so I get for next week, I think we want to vote on the trails, the sidewalks, and the uh, one, two, three, four, five, four John Shea things that we talked about tonight. <laughs> Leave out the drainage until we get the new application and the school pickup. I think we still need more discussion on. Um, the LED lighting, do you want to wait on that? He's getting a quote, or do we want to? He said he should have a quote next week, I think. Yeah, by 4-11. So that will be, be next Tuesday, 4-11. If he doesn't have it, then we, we can wait. Okay. All right. Um, the, the if your applications, then we can vote on the software also. Sure. Yep. I don't mean to give you everything to do now. No, that's <laughs> keep it moving. Everybody else says no. Keep it moving. I'm kidding. Um, anything else? Somebody want? Anyone wants to talk about? Well, we have we have about ten minutes left. Take a motion. I don't even know if we need to make one because it's not a real meeting. <laughs> we can just close it. So the meeting's closed. Okay. Thank you very much.